Hi, I'm Kathy Eldon for the Huffington Post. I'm at the Dan Eldon Center for Creative Activism in Malibu, and I'm with one of my superheroes today. I'm so excited. Thank we have you, Sanjay Kathy. Gupta, who I've admired from way too far away, but we're so honored to have you Thank here. You. Thank and you. And really, I just want to know why you're here in this world, really. I mean, <laughs> you, you really are doing some of the most extraordinary creative activist work of anybody I know. Well, well thank you. And I, you know, the same can be said for you and what's happening here. And you know, I love following uh, the work that comes out of a center like this all over the world. Here in Malibu, you know, we, we've decided to do something, I think, uh, as, a, as a big media organization that enough organizations don't do, and that is to sort of um, practice what we preach. We, we talk a lot about the, the world's problems, and, and I think uh, you, you get this idea that people who watch this on television or even read it uh, online, their eyes sort of glaze over unless there is uh, some solutions and some aspiration, frankly, associated with this. So, for example, I, I think when I became a dad, um, the whole obesity epidemic was something that really started to really sink into me. Uh, with some simple changes, I realized that we could not only make people healthy, make them live longer, make them happier, we could also address uh, what a lot of politicians in, in Washington have been arguing about, that, that you know, decide elections. This is big stuff. So we wanted to, to essentially, you know, we use the, Mal the Malibu Nautica Triathlon as a vehicle to take viewers uh, from all over the country who, who decided that they wanted to make a change in their lives. We picked people who represent America, a cross-section of America, and took them through an event that they didn't even dare dream that they could do at some point, which is a triathlon. And, and we wanted people, you know, at home who are watching or, or, or viewing it online to, to sort of understand that they could relate to one of these people and maybe do this themselves. I'm a doctor, I'm a neurosurgeon, and I'll be the first person to tell you that I'd much prefer people don't get sick in the first place. I mean, I, I, I'm the guy who comes in to take care of people you know, in, in a really bad time for them, but we all want people to be healthier, and it's not that hard to do. As you know, there's a lot of problems around the world that are, are hard to manage, hard to solve. This one we can do, so we all need to jump in and do our part. And, that's what I'm trying to do. Well, you certainly are a good example of Thank physical you. fitness, for sure. Thank so you. what can people do? How do they enroll, get involved? I, you know, for, for us, uh, you know, obviously, uh, hopefully over the next uh, uh, few weeks and months, you know, there's going to be a lot that people are going to see on television about this. But I think that the, uh, you know, um, starting to incorporate fitness into your life, uh, not thinking this is something that you'll do one day, but every day, breaking a little bit of a sweat, that's what I tell people but also really uh, thinking about your diet. And you know, I'm not asking people to turn their lives on their heads. If you can start to just eat you know, a third less or even you know, a fifth less than you do right now, you will, it'll pay off in spades later on. So I think awareness, uh, certainly if you're a parent, for yourself and for your kids, but I think all people um, just become ambassadors for health. So you don't, don't envision your life in a nursing home or in a hospital in the last few years of life. I always say imagine your life like an incandescent light bulb burn brightly the whole life and then eventually go out. Not a fluorescent bulb which does a lot of flickering near the end. You want, you want to flicker. live that, that functional life. <laughs> um, my father over there, um, Studs Terkel wrote about him. He was 93 um, when he did his last national tournament of right? tennis. Wow. So uh, I, I tell you, I was he brought up like this, this way. He would love this. He would love you and we certainly love and appreciate yeah. you. This is Sanjay Thank Gupta. You yeah, you, you bet. Oh, man, I'm so grateful. Thank Sanjay you. Gupta from CNN. We're going to check out the website uh, to be able to follow what you're doing CNN as well. CNNHealth.com, yeah. CNNHealth.com. Yeah. And I'm Kathy Eldon for the Huffington Post at the Creative Visions Foundation. And please check out us at creativevisions.org. Creative <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a hard bit. They'll find it. So check it out, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs>